Hello everyone, my name is Natalie Hinton and I am your host for Education Chat, a podcast by students for students in the Inland Empire. With the school year underway, hundreds of thousands of students are tackling their educational pursuits for the first time. As a first generation student myself, I have been navigating higher education without any prior direction, and there are times where I feel alone. But there is a topic that I want to share with you today that personally transformed my journey, and that is mentorship. If you've ever wondered how a mentor can influence your journey or how to find someone who can give you the right guidance, this episode is for you. Mentorship can be one of the most powerful forces behind your personal growth and success. It can be defined as the guidance provided by a mentor, especially from a person that is experienced in their field. I have been grateful enough to have mentors in many aspects of my life, including my academics, career, and personal life. People have been willing to support me in my many passions, with one of them being content creation. And in today's episode, we have an opportunity to chat with my very own mentor, who just so happened to lay the foundation for this very podcast as its original host. Welcome back to Education Chat, former host and current multimedia production specialist for Growing Inland Achievement, Alyssa Silva. Thank you so much for meeting with me today, Alyssa. Thank you for having me, Natalie. Well, for someone who has been following Education Chat for a while, you are a woman who does not need an introduction. But for anyone who's new to this season, season four of Education Chat, could you introduce yourself to our audience? Yeah, um, my name is Alyssa Silva. I am the multimedia production specialist at Growing Inland Achievement. And um, I've had the pleasure of working closely with you for a couple months now, almost six months. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. <laughs> so you actually got to take on the role of my mentor as you slid out of this position of being the host for education chat, moving on up in GIA, and then I was able to gain this internship. So I want to know, as someone who recently became a mentor, what does mentorship mean to you? For me, mentorship is all about growth and collaboration. It's not just about passing down knowledge or skills, but it's also about learning from each other and building a meaningful connection that supports both the mentor and the mentee. It's about helping somebody realize their potential while also challenging them and myself to grow in the process. A huge, huge part of this um, being your mentor is is guiding you and giving you the tools that, that you need to thrive rather than managing every step that you take. I don't think the goal in a mentorship is ever to control or to dictate um, the mentee's journey, but it's always to encourage them to think creatively and take risks and push the boundaries of whatever they're doing. So my goal is always to try to create a space where you feel empowered to explore your own ideas and develop you know, your own unique approach and just to make sure that you always know that you're supported and you have someone in your corner to help guide you along the way. Yeah. And building off of that, as you settled into this role of being a mentor, what do you think the core qualities are of someone who can be an effective mentor? Um, I think empathy and active listening are key qualities of an effective mentor. Consistency is also really huge. Being able to be a reliable source builds trust over time. And I think that's why Um, We have weekly one-on-one meetings to to discuss any updates or questions or concerns that come up. And it's funny because we meet so frequently. There are times where there's not much to update each other on, but we still make it a point to check in. Even if if it's to just see how the other person is doing, I want to make sure on a personal level that you know that I, I care for you, I'm there for you, and not just professionally, but whatever else that you need. So I'm hoping that those regular connecting meetings help help to reinforce the idea that that you can rely on me for support whether it's about podcasting or life in general because being a student is really hard so I get it and being able to be the new host of education chat has been amazing but you have also had so much experience just with this show over two years of making different episodes at least once a month so I want to know how your role as the original host influenced your approach to mentoring me now in this position yeah um two years that's crazy right but (laughs) my experience as the original host um really helped shape how I mentor you because I know firsthand what it feels like to start something new and the pressure that comes with it that's why I wanted to give you the tools and support that you need but also the 
freedom to make the show completely your own. It was really important to find that balance between offering guidance and letting you develop your own voice. And I tried to be, I always tried to be as hands-off as possible because <laughs> that's exactly what um, was done with me, with with my supervisor and mentor, Jake. Um, he basically just told me to run with it. And that sense of creative freedom was really empowering. So I wanted you to have that same experience where you didn't feel confined or stuck in a box. Mm -hmm. It felt a lot like <laughs> teaching a kid to ride a bike, you know, no training wheels, just giving them a helmet and knee pads and like letting them go off on their own and crossing your fingers, hoping for the best. And, you know, watching you transition so, so easily into this role and seeing how you've reimagined and taken ownership of the show has been such a joy to watch. I feel like a proud parent. <laughs> yeah. And that sometimes that's the best way to do things to just get them on the bike, but always knowing that you're there to pick me up, put bandages on my scrapes. <laughs> So I want to know, what else do you think I have gained from being able to be mentored by you? And how have you seen me grow over these past couple of months? Yeah, I've seen you grow in your confidence and your technical skills. At first, you know, it took some time to figure out your your sense of style, how you wanted to approach the podcast. But now I feel like you've really developed your, um, set, like you have a solid sense of direction of where you wanted to take the show. And what's been amazing to see is is just how comfortable you become troubleshooting like issues on your own and brainstorming ideas. You need no help on that front. You're always constantly coming up with um, the best show topics. So I love seeing your confidence with that. And I've always told you that each show, you know, it keeps getting better and better. So it's it's nice to see just how far you've come in every step of the way. But what really stands out is is like the confidence, like I said, in your creative choices, you don't second guess yourself. And that tells me that the the hands off mentoring approach works. <laughs> so I hope that, you know, through this process, you've gained a better understanding of digital content creation and podcast production, but also a stronger sense of what it means to be a part of a communications team. And, um, also, I hope that expands your your resume skills and your experiences, preparing you for whatever comes next. And I've gained so much from just being mentored by you. But when there's a relationship with a mentor and a mentee, it's not just beneficial for the mentee, it's also for the mentor. So I want to know, what have you gained or learned from being able to mentor me? This is the first time I've actually ever been considered an official mentor to someone. So the entire process was a learning curve for me, and it was very new, but it taught me a lot about leadership and collaboration. One of the biggest things that I learned is that, you know, true mentorship isn't about controlling the outcome. It's about empowering someone to take risks and learn from them and grow from them. So during this process, I've really been able to learn from your fresh perspectives that you bring to the table, which has been refreshing. Um, so although I may be considered your mentor, that doesn't mean that I can't pick up tips and tricks along the way from you. And I really have. Um, I love learning little little tidbits here and there from you too. So it, like I said, it's a great balance between both of us learning and growing together. So um, yeah, mentoring you has really deepened my appreciation for everyone who has made the effort to mentor me in the past too. Yeah, and I really want to know, has there been a mentor in your life that has made a significant impact on you? Yes, I've been fortunate enough to have a mentor early on in my career, and that person is Lacey Kendall. Under her guidance, I gained so many different incredible growth opportunities, and right before graduating college, to give you some context, um, I found myself feeling uncertain about the future. This was like during the height of the pandemic in 2020. So everything felt unstable and unsure, a bit scary. So I reached out to Lacey, who was my professor at the time. And uh, I wanted to see if she had any communications opportunities for me that I could apply for because I had no idea where, where I wanted to go from here after college. So she ended up um, securing me an internship as the program radio station manager. And I worked there for about a year. Um, and when that internship was, was over, she reached out again with another opportunity and said, hey, I think um, I have a job in mind that I think you'll love. It's remote. It involves working on a production team. Um, and that's how I ended up at GIA as a student intern. Um, so 
since then, we've been able to do a lot of amazing work together, including winning the locally produced show of the year in 2022. But all that has taught me really that it's just made me realize that that Lacey didn't just like show me the ropes. She believed in me and my potential. And she encouraged me to explore different avenues in media production, always pushing me to think outside the box. I always want to give thanks to her. And I, I feel like I have to give thanks to Jake too. Um, he's my super, supervisor at GIA. You know, he's always empowered me to be confident in my work, consistently found opportunities for me to advance and has rooted for my success since the beginning. So both his support and Lacey's support has been a, a huge role in my growth here in general and at GAA. So between the two of them, I've learned that true mentorship is about guiding, empowering, and just always rooting for the success of, of others. As someone who was a student who was in this position and then also had all the support from Lacey, do you believe that having a mentor to guide you was so important in your growth? Absolutely. Having a mentor can be a game changer, especially for students, because like I said, when you're coming out of college or even when you're in college, you're just so unsure of what you want to do. There's so many possibilities and you really need guidance from someone who has been in that position before to help you. When I look back at where I was before graduating and after graduating, I felt like a baby. I had no idea what, how to navigate the, the quote unquote real world. So from my experience, it provided um, a great sense of direction, support, accountability, um, and having a mentor who believed in me, you know, who not only provided opportunities, but also encouraged me. Uh, it really gave me the confidence to believe in my work and continue to put myself out there. So a mentor can offer guidance based on their own experiences, which helps a student to avoid potential mistakes. And in my case, Lacey helped me see possibilities that I hadn't even considered and just gave me the tools to pursue them. So yeah, I definitely think that that having a mentor for students is, is a game changer. And that's one of the reasons why I'm so grateful to be your mentor now, because my goal will always be to advocate for you and continue to unlock your potential just as my mentors have done for me. Well, thank you so much for meeting with me today, Alyssa, and thank you for being my mentor. <laughs> thank you for having me, Natalie. It's a pleasure. I cannot thank Alyssa enough for her mentorship and support over these past couple of months as I take over as the new host. I was lucky enough to have a mentor right when I joined the Growing Inland Achievement team, but the most difficult part is, how exactly do you gain a mentor if you currently do not have one? It may seem scary, but the most important thing to do is ask around. Reach out to someone you admire, someone who can offer perspective, and don't be afraid to ask for guidance. A majority of people are willing to help others learn, especially if you are currently a student. So whether it's a professor teaching one of your favorite courses, a knowledgeable classmate, or a person on LinkedIn who is in your future career field, taking the first step to make contact is the best thing you can do. It is also important to consider exactly what you want to find in a mentor. Do you prefer someone who will guide you every step of the way, or do you want someone with a more hands-off approach like Alyssa? And ask yourself the question, how can you personally grow through the influence of a mentor? And for many of us students, we will grow up to become mentors of our own. We will have our own mentees and think back to all the times we were encouraged to learn by the positive influences around us. As we continue to grow, we will never stop learning, but we may begin to start teaching others. Thank you for allowing me to mentor you during this podcast, and I hope to chat with you again soon.